Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste. Love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you have not already, like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell so you know when your girls up upload her next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Drop me a line or two. I love to get positive feedback, even if it's just for you to tell me how you found out you were Hayoka, or even just discovering just the fact of if you like being a Hayoka, or it's just to even talk about the content of my video. I just love to get the positive feedback. And if you feel like you resonate with my video, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. It would be greatly appreciated. And thank you so much for taking the time out to come to my, my channel today. And for my returning subs, what's up, fam? Much love to you. Thank you so much for the love and support of constantly coming to my, my channel, dropping your, you know, your prayers, and, you know, just your kind words. I love that. Let me turn this music down. My bad. Ooh, I'm actually turn it off. My bad. But, um... I was trying to turn it down and accidentally close my phone now. Um, yeah, that kind of threw me off. But, yeah, thank you for coming to my, my channel. Namaste. <laughs> love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are yet to come for you. But thank you, thank you so much for stopping by my channel and dropping by your beautiful lines. And even for me to get a chance to know you, I love that. It's just, I, it, it's just, good to actually know that your family is growing and growing i really feel like i have a family you know even though i might say subscribers that sometimes i try to identify the new subscribers and separate from the old subscribers but even though you're not you're we're all family because i don't want to feel like you're just still new you know what i'm saying i don't want to say you're not you're not new anymore you know you're still family regardless you're still family but anyways you know i was blasting that meditation music in the back i'm gonna let y'all hear it real quick it is very peaceful I, I felt like i was releasing a lot of you know different emotions that are around me right now because i me, i'm good but i'm feeling other other emotions coming in for me but this is a uh, native american flute music spiritual music for astral projection healing music for meditation so if you're you know if you're into astral projection or you know lucid dreaming they all have all these different med meditations that you can use for those and they are very good very good but today um my video is about twin flame 101 Aoka's on emotional intelligence. It's like, you know, that kept on coming up in my head, emotional intelligence. It's just like I know about stuff like that. But I said, you know, but when I'm going to come at y'all, I want to make sure I got my minutes straight for it before I come out and say some crazy stuff. I'm like, wait a minute, why is my name what that mean? You know, I'll be feeling stupid. But um, I done did it again. I'm turning this music off. But, um, but yeah. Mm, emotional intelligence it's like we have to do this all the time and it's like sometimes when you're just now figuring out what you are you know blurting out like me i would blurt out somebody else's stuff real quick and i'm like wait a minute i'm not even feeling that way i'm not even feeling that way and it's just from us using different emotional intelligence being able to control it you know being professional and being personal at the same time to be able to divide the two is just no and it's just like you know, dealing with different people, I had to be quiet and just fill out, you know, what type of person am I dealing with? Or just even being in the neighborhood that you're in, you might be a Hayoka that is, you know, you're blessed if you're living in a good neighborhood, put it that way. <laughs> you are so blessed because it's just so many Hayokas I know, they're like in places they really don't care to be in. It's like me, I don't know, no, not where I'm at. My nerves get bad sometimes. I, you know, I don't even but it's just the fact that it's done with it, it's like hell because we'll be it seems like we're placed right dead in the middle of the, in the battlefield sometimes i don't know if you feel that way but i feel like that sometimes because it's like everything going on around us and it's just like dang you know is this real sometimes you have to figure out sometimes does it feel real at times and it gets frustrating it really does sometimes I'm trying to turn this 
download that so it won't be blasting. I won't be yelling over this music or you really can't hear me. Because like I said in my other videos before, you know, I, I, don't, I don't like having it real quiet when you're talking and stuff like that. Especially, I don't know what it is. I don't know. It's just where I live at because where I stay at, for what it was told to me is rumored that it used to be a cemetery. You know, a whole house is been built on top of cemeteries from the civil war so it's just like i've seen you know spirits in confederate outfits and stuff like that and they're like howdy ma'am and you know see little boys looking like they're from little house on the prairie days and all them other things but yeah so it's just like i always try to play music in the background because you might i don't know if, you, if you've been listening to my video sometimes you'll hear a growling like low growling and that mess used to creep me out because i don't know what it is i don't feel anything negative around me or whatever but it could be things that I'm releasing that is around me I don't know what it is but you know you might have heard it before like dang what's that growling noise so trust me I hear it too when I play my stuff back so that's the reason why I'm not trying to creep anybody out by placing music in the background and plus I think that's better like if you're saying something positive I want you to be able to be able to feel it you know live it breathe it whatever i want you to be able to ingest that some kind of way but some kind of positive vibration i'm trying to get towards you but anyways my video emotional intelligence it's just like dealing with all that stuff you have to be able to you know because it's like it's a scary thing to me i really think it is because it's like when you first find out you're a hayoka you're like okay hold up you're you trying to figure this out and it's just like, like I said before, you know, there's not too many people that do hangover videos. They might do a couple of them and then go about something else. I've been sticking to it for a while because it seems like so many more hangovers coming to the forefront. They need to know a lot about themselves that they might need to relate to. It's like, yeah, you know, because they might have a question about it. They only watch one or two videos. And they might resonate with it, but this probably had that question mark in our head. Oh, you know, I might be this way. And I'm like I tell anybody, when you figure out, when you have that question mark, that's when you need to start looking up stuff. When things start coming up in your presence, especially if you're a type of person that don't watch TV and be on YouTube a lot, and things are setting into your, you know, into your lap like that, please look them up, please. Because it's just like, um, you know, I listen to extrovert videos. I listen to INFJ videos. Because it's just, you're not just a hell. I promise you. If you're one of those, if you're a hell, I guarantee you, you got something else tracked along with that. Just collaborating with that. You just haven't woken up to it yet. So, whatever you're feeling that, trust me. I, I mean, if you're just a hell, you know, that's good too. But, you know, then that's less that you got to deal with. You know, because hey, Oakus is enough. That, I mean, we are so complex. It ain't even funny. But when you got to deal on everything after that, because with me, hey, Oka, Indigo, Twin Flame, you know, Heart Medium or whatever, when it, when it presents itself to yourself, White, White Witch, it, it's just all these things coming up to you. Introvert. I mean, it's just so many things that you have to open yourself and realize and you have to be able to know you know when you're dealing with your emotions and sometimes if you're really dealing with stuff like i deal with it and i know you're probably dealing with it too it's hard to sometimes be able to say okay these are not my emotions this is somebody else's emotions let me separate those and don't even take those on because sometimes with us being held is the way we are we will take on other people's emotions and it's just like damn we're dealing with enough stuff why are you taking on somebody else's too but we do stuff like that you know it trying to divert us from our problems and what we deal with to go help somebody else because you know there's i mean it's hard for me sometimes because it's I feel like I can't really trust anybody. When I open up to people, people might judge me, might think I'm crazy or whatever. Even though I don't care what you think about me, it's still my life anyway. <laughs> you just don't, you probably just not open up to the truth or the possibility or this could be what she is really talking about. It could be true. But it's just like, I'm not going to waste my breath talking about some stuff that's not true. I always come to y'all straight 150, you know, because I don't want to have to backtrack track about what I say I really don't you know what I talk about is what I talk about but like I tell everybody you know if, if you need an ear I'm there if you need a private message me go ahead if you, you really don't feel like you want to be able to you know get out in front of people and 
put your, you know, put your business out there. I understand it because some people are not open to the fact is it's already a step enough just to recognize what you are. But dealing with that, soaking it in and actually coming down at your mouth and saying something, I understand that's a lot to deal with. Because there's a lot of days I look at the picture of my dad and look at the things I've been through in my past life and in my life now, in the present and in the future, seeing stuff too. It, that's a lot to deal with. It really is. So it's just one step at a time. You know, I, I don't beat myself up about it. I try not to. And it was just like, you know, dealing with all these different things and different emotions and knowing, you know, you're not alone. You need to be able to practice and know, you know, when your emotions are, when to be able to react and when to re be able to respond to certain things. Some things don't even need to be messed with. Like, just leave it alone. Leave it alone. <laughs> just don't even don't even respond to it. Just sometimes just and I see why my dad used to just look and I just bust out laughing because I already knew what that look meant, but I'm just like, you don't even need to respond to it. You might just give a look. And that's it. Just leave it alone. But deal with your emotional intelligence. Know when you're dealing with yours and dealing with somebody else's. Know when to use it personal and what learn what to do it. And you will go a mighty long way. So I hope you had a blessed week. And I hope, you know, you continue to have a blessed week. I will keep doing my prayers. And most definitely, I hope you do the same for me. And if you have not liked and subscribed, please hit that bell, hit that button. Just so you'll know when I'm about to upload my next videos. You never know. That message might be for you next time. Or it might be something that you might need to hear. So, much love to you. Spread out as much love and light and much kindness as possible. If you see somebody's frequency low, or you even also raise it to the roof. You know it'll be better in tomorrow. And I will talk to you later. Peace and be wow.